My name is Luke Anderson. There was a time in my life when you'd rarely find me sitting still. I was an athlete. If it didn't involve some sort of physical exertion, I wouldn't be interested. I grew up with my sister in a small town north of Toronto. I finished high school, got my engineering degree, moved to Rossland, British Columbia to do nothing but mountain bike. Late in the riding season, my good friend Johnny and I were riding a tricky trail and came upon a large gap jump which we had heard other riders talking about. Johnny went first and cleared the 25 foot gap without a problem. Of course, I had to give it a whirl as well, and after the fourth run-in, I had gathered all my confidence, figured out which gear was best and how much speed I needed. I gripped the handlebars tightly, cranked down hard on the pedals, left the takeoff platform and my life as I knew it. Which shoes are you wearing today? The light brown ones, Jeanette. There are two things that I would like to share with you. The first is pretty straightforward. Don't take any off-road cycling tips from me. Touchdown. I'm locked in. The second is a little more involved. I launched myself into an unknown world, but interesting realizations have happened because of it. I had never considered myself becoming a filmmaker, but my burning desire to share a story pointed me to a video camera, an apparatus covered in little buttons and switches that frustrates even the most dexterous, let alone someone like me, without the use of my hands. It's difficult adjusting to something different, but when you launch yourself into the unknown, you're forced to face your fears head on. I've always had an urge to face fears head on, venture into uncharted territory, and do things my own way. Some used to say that I'm crazy, and rightfully so. There's a reason for continuing to choose to do things the way I do. It's all about the quest for the adrenaline rush that comes with pushing the envelope and achieving something. These days, pushing the envelope means leaving the past behind and closing some doors. But it also means opening new ones. To say that I was depressed following my accident would be an understatement. I struggled to find things that would fill the huge gap that was left in my life. It took a long time, but then, fed up with feeling down, I broke out of the self-imposed prison that I had created for myself. I began doodling on my adapted new computer. I helped a friend illustrate a book he had written for his nephew and I found a new way to express myself through the art of filmmaking. We're at the X. That didn't take very long. No, that was a, that was a quick trip. I remember being able to count on my sister to throw on the goalie pads if there was no one else around to shoot tennis balls at. I also remember seeing her by my bedside after a seven hour long surgery. It was as if she was wearing those goalie pads again, only this time they would help cushion the bumps we would find while going down an unknown road. During difficult times, I let myself know that I'm not alone. I can count on those closest to me to be there to help me through, keep me on the right path, and be there to cheer me on at the finish line. Four, three, two, one. 
Logan and I saved any opportunity to be shot out of a cannon for our next visit to the exhibition. We continued on our quest for something that would make our trip as exciting as when we were last there as kids. So between Logan and, and maybe your crew, we can, yep. you think we we'll can do, do it? Best to get you on board smoothly. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd that'd be, be amazing. Woo. Great. Since launching myself into an unknown world, I've come to anticipate difficulties and frustrations when trying something new. Barriers that I find in my travels are more easily overcome if I set out knowing that there may be one or two around the corner. With that in mind, it's much easier to stick it out and hopefully reach a final destination. The barriers I encounter usually sidetrack me and I often find my final destination to be different from my original vision. I've learned to not let that disappoint me, and I try to let myself realize that I haven't failed. Failure only happens when I haven't bothered trying at all. Like the human cannonball, I believe that we've all got a built-in safety net that catches everything learned with each endeavor. One of my biggest fears that I've had to face is being comfortable asking others for help. I was a very stubbornly independent person before my accident. Rarely did I ever ask for help. I was too impatient and proud to ask others for a hand. Come over here and we'll both get on corn dog can right here. You can see. Ready? I'm still working on being patient, but let me tell you. Life is so much easier when you share the load with someone. As my net continues to catch things from my experiences, I've found that my life becomes more and more enriched. I am convinced that I'm a better person for having found myself in an unknown world and facing my fears head on. Wow. My name is Luke Anderson, and I have learned to welcome change in my life with an understanding that whether I am greeted with success or not, I have still learned something from the experience and opened the door for more new opportunities. Yeah. Well, you go first, and I'll follow. We've had an awesome time 